We exalt you, Father. We exalt you for protection, for provision, for loading us with daily benefit every day. We exalt you, Father. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. Now, at this point, let's begin to invite the presence of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, this meeting will be empty. We want the perfect manifestation of the Spirit of God this morning. We want expression of the gift of the Spirit. We want to be inspired by the Holy Spirit. So begin to invite the presence of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We love you. We, want you. we need you. We need you to be at the driver's seat. At the control tower of this cause to the destination the father wants us to go in the name of jesus christ holy spirit let your presence be felt in jesus name in jesus name we pray again we're going to pray to you're going to thank god again for the gift of forgiveness for the gift of mercy for the gift of compassion for the gift of love and father we thank you for giving us to be forgiven and we accept we believe we've been forgiven we stand justified after you pray that they begin to declare that you have the right to stand in the presence of god today that you are worthy by through the blood of jesus christ you are worthy you stand justified you have what you have the right to stand in the presence of god combine all these three prayers together and pray in the name of jesus christ father this morning we thank you for the gift of forgiveness thank you for the gift of compassion and mercy that our sins have been forgiven and we stand justified with, without any form of blemish we have no blemish in your presence we are righteous because of the grace of god because of your grace because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And we stand on that right. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now let's now extend that same you know, message to others. That Father, this morning we forgive everybody that you know, wronged us in the past, hurt us in the past, anybody that we have hurt against, that we release them, that people are released to their destiny, people are forgiving. Let's forgive people all utterly. Let's pray for them that they will excel, they will prosper. Just the same way God has forgiven us, we forgive others. Let's begin to pray in Jesus' name. This morning, we pray, oh God, we declare that we we have we forgive others just as you oh god has forgiven us we also forgive others in the name of jesus we release people to their destiny people are healed people are blessed people are moving forward we have nothing against anyone this morning thank you father thank you jesus in jesus name we pray now before we move into the word of god let's subject every satanic force in our house on our streets in our town as we pray in our city, in our country, in our region, let's stand on the authority of the name of Jesus Christ that will bring every evil force under subjection in the name of Jesus Christ. We have been given power to trample on snakes and scorpions in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that this message, the message this morning, the prayer this morning will not be subject to satanic manipulation in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor John. Pastor John. Good morning again. Good, Good morning. morning again, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Um, let's pray one more prayer before we go into the God's word. Let's open to Ephesians 1. Ephesians. Ephesians 1, I read from verse number 14, which, uh, oh, from verse 16, Ephesians 1, verse 16, says not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what he, what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Uh, I want us to open our mouths and pray and ask that Tonight, even as we look into God's word, the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened. 
uh, let's take advantage of the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. That the word will not come as a word from man, but as it is indeed the word of God. Amen. God will be revealed to us even as we look at God's word this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. So just pray in tongues and let the spirit of wisdom be activated in you. Let your eyes be enlightened so that you will see the word as it will come to you. It will come to you as a revelation. You will know what to do with the word as it comes to you. This morning, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Maso prateke pradide bagosta. Manta ka bale so prateke prateko unza bale la bagosta prateke la badaba. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for revelation. Brata kam bradida bagosta bradida ba. Ah, the eyes of our understanding is enlightened. This morning, Li brato kosa banda bradida bagosta pari de bide bagosta pa. Li brata ka bradida bagosta protege la brada bagosta bandida bradida bagosta kara bide bagosta pa. Li brata ka pari de bagosta brateke la brada bagata ka paru de bagosta pali de ba. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We will know, we will know, we will know this morning, Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, thank you once again for this great opportunity to gather around your holy written word. Even as we look into, thank you for light, thank you for revelation. I ask that you give me your chance that I will speak your word as I ought to. Let it come not as mere words of man, but as indeed it's your word Amen. with life, revelation, and the demonstration of the Spirit. Thank Amen. you, Father, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Right, we've been talking about authority, and um, last week we were able to establish to see what authority is. We said that authority is a power or right to give orders, make decision, and enforce obedience. Uh, very important and to know what authority means. And um, um, we were also uh, able to see what authority the believer has. Hmm. Um, we are authorized at different authority. Every one of us have different authorities naturally. Um, um, the work in your office, in the place, in the uh, in the place you are assigned to do carry out a certain duty, you have been authorized. And um, the office that you have been given, you have a key. That key is a sign of um, authorization to be in that office. So, uh, but the authority we're talking about is the believer's authority, our spiritual authority. And we were able to see that that authority came from Jesus. And okay, yes, we established the fact from God's word that um, authority, man's authority has always been God's idea. Uh, we saw from Genesis chapter 1, 27, 28, and God said, uh, be fruitful and uh, multiply, subdue, uh, um, um, they, that they, they might also have dominion. And we saw that the word dominion there means authority. So authority is God's idea. It is God's idea that we stand in the place of authority and also exercise it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That of Amen. authority not exercise uh, is as good as not having authority. Hmm. Uh, if, you, if you have authority, you ought to exercise authority. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, from physical things we see day to day, we see that authority is meant to be, uh, to be exercised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Amen. Uh, Okay, let me not go ahead of myself. Um, uh, let me just refresh our memory from what we said. So we saw that the believer's authority is Jesus' authority. The authority that Jesus received from God after his resurrection is the same authority we have. Uh, we saw in Matthew 28 from verse 18, he said, all of authority the king james said all power but um, 
is from the Greek word exousia, which means authority. Uh, so we are able to see that Jesus said, All authority in heaven and in earth has been given unto me. And then he said, Go therefore. We did not see the place he told us that he has given us, but all, but that that uh, uh, we're able to see that um, uh, that is not far fetched because we are in him. Jesus is the head, and we are the body. So if the head has authority, then the body also have the same authority. authority. We're able, even we're even able to see uh, using an illustration from a military personnel that. Um, and the man uh, receives, uh, um, when he receives promotion, the promotion talks about authority. That authority is placed upon his shoulders, which is his body. And in the same way, when Jesus, our head, received authority, the authority was placed upon the church, the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is important to, for us to know that the authority we have is the same authority that Jesus has. Mm. It is not a lesser authority. The same authority that Jesus has is the same authority that we function in. Mm. And then we were also able to see that um, Jesus, okay, we, um, I remember that we read Colossians 1.18 that talks about Christ being the head and we, the body. We also read Ephesians 5 verse 23 that also connotes that praise the lord hallelujah that jesus is, is the body the head and we are the body and so whatever the head has the body has the same praise the lord hallelujah and um another one we, 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 we want us to see because uh, just like i said last tuesday or last time i preached that um, we are going to talk about exercise of authority. Mm -hmm. Exercise of authority. Mm -hmm. And for us to um, function in that and understand it properly, there are two scriptures that we ought to see and that scripture ought to become part and parcel of, uh, of us. Mm -hmm. It should become something, it is scripture that we have a revelation of. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, uh, it is important. It is important that the word, the word, when I say the word, I mean God's word to us. That word should become very, very, we should take it very personal. Mm. Just mm. as people, uh, as a pastor, you hear people come tell you things like that. <laughs> things like, <coughs> excuse me, Pastor, can you imagine? Hmm. Can you imagine? He called me a fool. Hmm. I can't believe that. He called me a fool. And you person, you hear the person who start crying. <coughs> crying that the person called he or she, he or her, a fool. Meaning that he, the person is taking that person's word seriously. Hmm. Hmm. And that is why he's even crying about the word. Because hmm. it, 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 if you're not, but if you know you're not foolish, just forget about it now. Why are you crying over it? But because the person's word means so much to you, you come and you're even crying about it. If only we can take God's word like that. Like that. You can take words, God's word and say, you mean, you mean Jesus is my head hmm. and I am the body? You mean whatever Jesus have, I have the same? The same way the person cries about being called a fool, you will begin to take actions mm. based on the words Jesus has spoken Amen. concerning us. Not to so it is important. So whenever we hear God's word, we are not we are not trying to make you feel good. It's actually the word of God. That's yeah. why Paul said when we were praying, I quoted somewhere. Paul said that uh, um, certain the church, certain church, I think it's in Thessalonian. The Thess Thessalonian church said that uh, Paul was commending them that they receive uh, God's word from them, not as the word of men, but as it is indeed the word of God. So when God's word comes to us, it is important for us to see that God is speaking to us and take it seriously. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
glory to God. Glory uh, to uh, God. Uh, 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 and let me, let me say this this morning, that God is going to so much do great things in our life Amen. that we'll begin to see results Amen. in the things that we are hearing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure about that. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. there are two scriptures that we ought to, it, it ought to become part and parcel of us. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians. So the exercise of authority hinges on these two scriptures. If they become part and parcel of you, exercising authority will be natural with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we have authority, and that authority we have ought to be exercised. Authority is not, is not given to be admired. Authority is not given to be talked about. If authority is given to be exercised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and the exercise of our authority in Christ is hinged upon do, these two scriptures. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 20. Ephesians 1 verse 20. It says that uh, I read, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above, far above all principalities and power, and might and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, mm -hmm. to the church, yeah. which is his body, the fullness of him that filled all okay. in all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we can see that Christ is risen and is seated at the right hand of the Father far above principalities and power mm. so in the office that christ is seated is above principalities and power and everything has been you see and god has put all things under his feet praise mm. the lord yeah. so it is important to see that that christ is seated at the right hand of the father exalted high above mm. all principalities and power mm. praise the lord Hallelujah. And then let's see, let's go to the next chapter, that's chapter 2, verse 6. Chapter 2, verse 6. And it says, and has raised us up together. <laughs> mm. Oh, glory to God. Mm. And has made us to sit together mm. in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Mm. So if you put these two scriptures together, you have a good good light about your authority in christ jesus he said that god raised us a race of christ that's it is that is chapter 1 20 downward that god raised christ up from the dead and caused christ to sit at his right hand far above principalities and power and then he now says in chapter 2 remember just like i said earlier yeah, uh, it is important for us to know that when the Bible was written, it was not written in chapters and verses. The book is a letter written to the church in Ephesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So everything was written with a subject in mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So it, it means it's a flow. It's the same thing he was explaining from chapter one that he flowed into chapter 2 mm. same mm. thing same teaching mm. so he said christ is risen god raised up christ and christ is seated at the right hand of the father okay. then you in verse 6 he said that we has he raised together with christ meaning that when jesus was uh, uh, raised up uh, which uh, raised up by god we were also risen or raised with him. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So it means, and then you see, he has caused us to sit together. That's verse 6 that we're reading. Mm. Made us to sit together. To, 
together with who? Christ. Christ. Where is Christ sitting? Heavenly places. At the right hand of the mm-hmm. Father. Mm-hmm. Far above principalities and power. And he says that we are sitting together with him. So it means that we are also far above principalities and powers. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we are sitting, we are sitting together with Christ. We are seated together with Christ. And Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father, far above principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named hallelujah hallelujah amen so if principalities and powers are under christ and we are seated together with him it means it is under us also Mm. Mm. yeah did you get that yeah yes yes praise the lord because we are seated together with him hallelujah Hallelujah. so and he said he has put all things under his feet praise the lord hallelujah we give you praise and we are seated together with him actually actually praise the lord hallelujah oh glory to god you need to understand that you are in christ hallelujah because he said in christ so how are we seated together with him no we're not sitting by his side no we're not there by his side though no we are in him mm. praise the lord hallelujah. so as he's seated at the right hand of the father we are seated in him mm. praise the lord hallelujah. glory to god, glory to god. and then based linking in with what we said last week is that he is the head and we are the body mm. meaning that is actually the church that is sitting on that throne amen amen, amen. 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 carrying the head which is christ jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. And he said they has put all things under his feet. The feet is on the body. Amen. 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 So it means that he has put all things under the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and you and I, we are that church scripture is talking about. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So meaning principalities is under you. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Powers are under you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dominion. This is this this was talking about the levels, uh, the spiritual levels, uh, the hierarchy of demonic oppressions. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said that they are under you. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So the devil is under you. Mm-hmm. demonic uh, de- demons are under you no mm-hmm. matter what their he- hierarchy is re- 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 no matter what their rank is mm-hmm. in Christ Jesus they mm-hmm. are under you mm-hmm. you have authority over them praise mm-hmm. the lord hallelujah yeah. amen we glory can... to god glory to god hallelujah yes. glory to god so mm-hmm. it means that um 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 principalities are under uh, um, every one of us, under you. So the you I'm talking about is you, you, you that is hearing me. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Yes. So there is no need for us to be crying and be looking for help from the devil. No, mm. you don't need to run from him. The mm. devil actually should take flight mm. when he sees us. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. But the devil also understands the people who know their authority in Christ and who mm. are or and the people who are exercising it. Mm. If you are not exercising it, you will play tricks over you. Hallelujah. Mm. So no, this morning I want you to, it to solidify in your heart. Mm. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't. I take my time when I teach because mm. it is more important for me for the words to sink in your heart. So I repeat, not because I don't know what to say next. But I'm hitting the point so that it will settle in your heart mm. that mm-hmm. you, Naomi, you are the authorized one. You, Achala, you are the authorized one. Mm. You, Juliana, you are the authorized one. Mm. You, Rebecca, you are the authorized one. Mm. We are Amen. the authorized one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Authority has been given to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Amen. 
it's not something that jesus is debating over it's not something that god, something god is debating over no in christ jesus you who is born again you who has been quickened together with christ and has been raised up together with mm-hmm. christ you are seated together with him mm-hmm. in heavenly praise at the right hand of the father praise the lord so mm-hmm. know it that you are you we operate from there Praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, uh, thank this you. excites me. This excites me. That I am seated with Christ. I operate from the right hand of the Father. Mm. I operate from the place of authority. Mm. That is, oh, glory to God. Mm. No wonder he said that that's in, in Revelation chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5. Let's mm. go there. Revelation. Glory to God. Glory to God. Revelation chapter 5. Verse 10. Someone should read for us. Revelation chapter 5, verse 10. Woo, glory. Oh, and has made us kings and priests mm. and priests to our mm. God, and we shall reign on the head. Hallelujah. He has mm. made us kings. He has made us priests, and we shall reign on the mm. earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, in fact, I love, I love, I love that dual, that that dual uh, um, 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 functions of the believer. Mm-hmm. You see, he has made us kings and, and priests on mm-hmm. to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Mm-hmm. The priest is one who who legislates, mm-hmm. who speak, who has right to the heavens, mm-hmm. who have. Uh, 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 a right to speak to the heavens mm. who have right to ha- offer sacrifices and heaven will respond mm. and kings are those who are meant to dominate and exercise authority on earth hallelujah, hallelujah. so as a believer we have dual function we are priests unto our god we are able to legislate on behalf of heaven we are able to to speak to all of things in heaven hallelujah we are able to change things in heaven and we are also kings and able to legislate on earth mm. exercise authority on earth amen and amen. then he said that we shall reign people don't reign by begging mm. people don't reign by suggesting no mm. kings don't suggest mm. kings exercise authority mm. You reign and you rule by exercising your authority, the authority given to you. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we have been made kings. And that the kings we have been made has been given authority. And that authority that we have been given is the same authority that Christ received. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, it means that we ought to to exercise that authority glory to god hallelujah Amen. Ooh, glory to god Amen. meaning that if we don't if just imagine a king is saying i don't know i don't know what is happening i don't know why people are not obeying me he's just complaining people in this kingdom they are not obeying me mm. how will they obey you mm. if you don't usher or out a decree mm. is in the obedience comes in the exercise of authority. authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the devil has been put under us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Demons Amen. have been placed under us. Mm. We have mm. authority over them, but nothing will happen if we don't exercise. Mm. See, the devil will play football, play soccer in our lives if we don't exercise authority. Mm. Hmm. You might be there and be crying, oh God, why me? Why me? And God will also be asking angels in heaven, ah, oh, this is my child. Oh, why you? Why you? Why you? Why will he be asking why you? Because everything you need to exercise the authority he has made available for you has been given. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Let's see Ephesians chapter 6. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. So understand that um, the head has the authority, but the body is the one that carries out the authority. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The body carries out the authority 
the signals that the head sends. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So we who are the church and um, uh, is um meant to exercise this authority that Jesus has received on mm -hmm. our behalf. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then Ephesians chapter six, verse twelve. Ephesians I read six. six, Ephesians 6, verse 12. It says that, um, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So Amen. you see, he said that for we wrestle. Now he's trying to define our authority, the 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 scope of our authority. Then we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Mm. So here we know that flesh and blood is not our problem. Mm. Our enemy, no man is our enemy. Flesh and blood is not our enemy. Mm. That's what he said. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. There is no need for you to take cutlass against your fellow man. Mm. There is no need for you to take firearms against your fellow man. He is mm. not your enemy. Mm. So for we wrestle. So our fight is not a physical fight. That's mm. what he's trying to say. Our fight, our wrestling is not physical, but it's spiritual. So he said, but against principalities, Against power, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, you know, you know, you know. Uh, all right, we'll see it together. See, it says, "For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, mm -hmm. against powers, mm -hmm. against the rulers of darkness of a uh, darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places." Mm -hmm. And then let's go back, put a finger there mm -hmm. in chapter six, and flip backward, and let's read. Verse 20, that's chapter 1, 20 into 21. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead mm -hmm. and set him at his own right mm -hmm. hand in the heavenly places, far above all what? Principalities and power. And what? Power. And then here we say we hear, we see that what we are fighting against is principalities and against power. Oh. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the same principalities and powers we are fighting against mm. is what has been put under the church. <laughs> mm. Did you see that? Mm. 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 Is what we have been placed far above. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. This the same thing we are fighting against is what we have been placed far above. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. we have been placed far above what we have being well, well, what we are fighting amen amen what we are fighting against is far below us hmm. so the devil is actually no match for us hmm. we are high we have been placed higher than him hmm. 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 higher than him hmm. praise the lord hmm. if if, if hmm. i don't know how it is over there but here in in africa we don't actually give dogs and pets equal rights with humans. Amen. Mm. <laughs> Glory to God. Good. Good. Uh, we see them under us and we exercise if you own a dog and um, uh, you don't want the dog in the house, you want him outside the house mm. and the dog is trying to still push its way into the living room. You shout at the dog. Mm. Jackie out of here, mm. and Jackie will take off. Mm -hmm. But if you are keep saying, Jackie, what are you doing here? Jackie, what are you doing here? I don't mm. want you in the living room. Mm. It might still be running around, jumping from one cushion to the other. Mm. Mm. But until mm. you exercise your authority, that dog will remain there. Mm. He has been placed under you, but he will he will want you to think that you people are the same. He want to. In fact, mm. you want to eat from the same plate you are eating. Mm. Mm. Understand, Jackie, will you get out of here? That's how we say it in Nigeria. Get out of here. <laughs> praise, <laughs> the, praise, <laughs> the, 
Praise the Lord. Amen. And that sit, and that dog will take off. Mm-hmm. That is the same way we ought to treat the devil. Mm-hmm. Treat the devil the same way you would treat a dog. Mm-hmm. Instead mm-hmm. of instead of trying to explain why the devil is still there, no, no, no. In fact, mm-hmm. sometimes we can open doors for the devil to afflict. Mm-hmm. But when you realize that the devil is afflicting you, mm-hmm. eh, your authority has not reduced because mm-hmm. you opened the door. Mm-hmm. Stand your ground. Mm-hmm. Why? Because the Bible says that who are you to judge another man's servant? Mm. When he falls, he is for he falls to his servant. Mm. Mm-hmm. When he rises, he's rising, and when he falls, he falls to his master. Mm. When he rises, he's rising before his master. Mm. So Satan has no right. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You you don't you don't call somebody else to come and discipline your child. When your child offends you, it is yours to discipline. Mm. Will you go and go and bring up bring a snake and say snake, please deal with this child? Why will she fail her exam? Mm. No, you don't bring scorpion to sting your baby for for <laughs> for behaving abnormally. Mm. So the devil has no right, mm. even when you mm. open the door, mm. it's still illegal for him to yes. afflict you. Amen. So when oh, when you realize that it is an affliction, don't say, oh, 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 I am the one, I am the cause. No, stand your ground. Stand your ground. Say, devil, you have no right here. Mm-hmm. I am the child of the most high. Mm-hmm. If I have fallen, I have fallen before him. So mm-hmm. take up your card, pack your baggages and leave this place. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So authority Hallelujah. needs to be exercised. Mm-hmm. Exercise your God-given authority. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you, you so we, we read Ephesians chapter 6. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I'm sure we are we are we are we are getting blessed. Amen. Mm. Yes, truly. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Verse verse 12 that we say, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So the devil will want you to think that your sister is your, the reason for your problem. Mm. He will want you to think that your mother, the way your mother treated you when you were coming up, is the reason why you're suffering what you're suffering. Is the lie of the devil. The mm. devil is using them to afflict you. Mm. So if you are seeing them, you will. The devil likes hiding behind people. Mm. 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 You think that your boss is the reason for your issue. For the, you, then it will, you will be, you will be mm. tempted to be keeping malice mm. and be keep, keep keeping unforgiveness mm. against mm. your boss, mm. against your brother, mm. against your country, mm. against those people mm. who have offended you mm. but when you begin to put things into the right perspective you will see the devil behind it mm. Mm. and you will address the devil behind you and say satan i know you are the one mm. and i come against you in the name of jesus because mm. the name of jesus is the badge of our authority in christ mm. amen Hallelujah. whenever we mention that name that authority comes to play mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we see the devil said uh, concerning the sons of Sceva, he said that Jesus, I know, Paul, I know, who are you? So it means that in the name of Jesus, the authority that we have received is triggered, comes to play, comes to display. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So when you understand this, is, see, when you understand this place, this exercise of authority in this area, there are many mm. things that you will be able to deal with. Mm. Yeah. When, when, you, when, you, when you see somebody who is always against you, who is always trying to provoke you, who is always trying to hurt you, mm. instead of seeing the person, address mm. them. There are demons mm. that are, are influencing the person. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Some of them, some of them, in fact, I, let me say this. I'm, I'm sure some of you have, have seen this play in your life. Someone will have, keep offending you, but each time the person offends you, come, to, come back and say, sorry, I mm. didn't know what come over me. I'm very sorry. Mm. I didn't mean yeah. to hurt you. I didn't know what come over. They, they, those are demonic cases. Mm. It, they are demons that are influencing them to cause hurts to you. Mm. So what you do 
is to address that demon. Mm. Come against that demon. Exercise your authority. Mm. You will say that the person will begin to treat you better. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is important. You should, we should understand that we, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. That is not our enemy. Our enemy, enemy is the devil. And he has demons that he has sent forth to carry out the things he wants to afflict and disturb in the life of a believer. I will give you a story. Um, about um, a great man of God, does Kenneth Hagin of blessed memory has gone home to build his his late now, mm -hmm. and he said one of those times he had a vision and Jesus was speaking to him, mm -hmm. and while Jesus was speaking to him, a demon he saw a demon was a demon was jumping around trying to interfere mm -hmm. with his communication with Jesus in that vision, mm -hmm. and the. The, the demon was making sounds, and he was not able to hear. Hmm. And uh, he was wondering why Jesus was not saying anything, was not addressing the situation. So hmm. out of frustration, hmm. Kenny Hagin said he addressed, he addressed the, the demon and said, get out of here in the name of Jesus. Hmm. And the devil, and, and that demon fell to the ground and disappeared. And Jesus said to him in that vision, thank you for doing that. Mm. If you didn't do anything about it, I couldn't have mm. done anything. And mm. Kenny Hagin said, uh, I don't think I heard you well. Mm. Did you say you wouldn't mm. or you couldn't? Mm. Because I'm sure you know the difference. You wouldn't mm. means that... Uh, uh, you could have done something, but you mm. chose not to. Mm. Mm. So, is it you wouldn't or you couldn't? No, you don't have and the Jesus said, "I, <laughs> yeah." And Jesus said, "I couldn't." Mm. He said, "Jesus, I don't understand." And Jesus said, "Yes, mm. because I have given you the authority." Mm. So, dealing with the devil is in your place. He said, "All the authority has been given, and now I'm not on earth." Your authority mm. is supposed to be exercised on earth. You are the church, my body. You are the one on earth, and you are the one that ought to exercise that authority. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, in the same way, we have been given this. It has not changed. We are the one that need to do something about the works of the devil we are seeing around. Mm. Just like we pray earlier on our street. In our, uh, especially our lives and family, mm. our you are, you have full full authority over your life. Mm. Praise the Lord Hallelujah. and your space. Mm. So everything that concerns your life, mm. it is your field, it is your space. You have full jurisdiction over it. So what plays out in, in your life has uh, you are the one to give it permission. So if you don't permit it, it will not, it will not, it will not happen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when something is happening, you have the authority to bind it, to stop mm. it from happening. Mm. Because it is your space. Yeah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Amen. when you see something happening to your child, it's not the time to start crying about it. Address it spiritually. Hello. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. See, see, it is important. You know, uh, uh, people in the Western world have a funny way of thinking that all the demons are in the third world in Africa. That's not true. Demons <laughs> are everywhere. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They're they not in Africa. They are everywhere. Mm. Glory to God. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. And the same way they are influencing people right here, they are also influencing people there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if, if, when, when you see um, your child behaving abnormally, he's always say, hey, it's depression. Yeah. Bind that devil. Bind mm -hmm. that devil. It's, it's a demonic case. Yes. Take authority. Don't allow the devil take your child. Don't mm -hmm. allow demons influence your parents, mm -hmm. influence mm -hmm. your brothers. It is, mm -hmm. it is, you have charge. He has given you charge over them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take your place. Take your stand. Take full 
full responsibility about your life. Mm. Take full responsibility. Don't say that, I don't know why my life like this. No, no why, no why, no why. Mm. Take responsibility. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, in Jesus' death, the last time I spoke about us, I, took, took, I spoke to us about the defeat of Satan. Yeah. Uh, that's what they were some time ago. And I told us that in the death of Jesus, the power of the devil has been broken. We received, and Jesus received the victory and gave us. So we are the victorious ones, and we are supposed to enforce. Remember, one definition of authority is to enforce obedience. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, the victory has been purchased for us, have been gotten for us, but we need to enforce obedience. Mm. Don't say, I don't know why my body is behaving like that. Enforce obedience. Mm. I don't know why my life is, is going this way. Enforce obedience. Mm. You are the authorized one. Mm. You are the authorized one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm. Uh, it, it is 944. I think I will stop here. There are more things to talk about, but I think I will stop here. I want us, I want us to pray and I want us to take some questions. Mm. Is that okay? That's okay. Yeah. Mm. So I want us to thank him, thank God for the authority. All right, before we pray, let's open to Mark. Mark. Um, the book of Mark. Chapter 16. Yes, honey, go back to bed. Mark chapter 16. Uh, let's see... Um, Later. Now go back to bed. Verse, verse 15 mm -hmm. to verse 18. And he said to them, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel and every, to every creature. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And they say, And this sign shall follow them that believe. That believe. In my name, they shall cast out. This is our exercise of authority now. Mm. Say, in my name, mm. in my name, he say, in my authority, they shall cast out devils. Mm. They shall speak with new tongues. Mm. They shall take up serpents. And, they shall, and, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Mm. They shall lay hands on the sick and they, and they shall recover. Mm. It's our, it, this is our jurisdiction. It's our space. Mm. It's, how, it's one of the ways we can exercise authority. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cast out devils. Mm. Heal the sick. Mm. It's what has been given to us. So when when the sick is brought before you, don't 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 shy away. It's it's it, you are the authorized one. Lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover. Mm. When you see demonic cases, exercise your authority mm. and he you shall see results. So I want us to go ahead and give God thanks for giving us authority in Him. Mm. Tell Him. Give him thanks and say thank you for making me. I am seated. I'm seated with you. I am seated with you. I am the authorized one. Thank you for your sacrifice. Sacrifice. It's your Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. Blessed be your name, Father. Blessed be your name, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the authority. Thank you for the authority. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I hear my spirit. Um, Rebecca, I, I believe you can hear me. Um, I hear in my heart the Spirit of the Lord is saying that it's time for you to arise and stand your ground. Uh, those issues that are standing and raising their head against you, uh, it is not a time to cry. It's not a time to wonder. It's not a time to be, uh, to be uh, uh, jumping from here. It's stand your ground. I hear the Spirit of, of the Lord saying Arise and exercise the authority I've given you, mm. and you'll see that the storms will wither. Mm. 
Amen. The storms will come down Amen. and everything will become clear. Amen. And the things Amen. that God has put in your heart will become glaring and it will come to you cheaply. Amen. There is victory. Amen. There is victory for you. Amen. There is victory for you. Amen. There is victory. That victory has been purchased already. Amen. All what you need to do is to arise. Stand your ground, say the Spirit of God. Stand your ground, say the Spirit of God. Stand your ground, say, stand. Uh, you are the authorized one. Stand your ground. Yes, even concerning your loved ones. You know, don't, 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 don't allow them to the devil. Snatch them away from here. You have that authority. Snatch them out of the hands of the enemy. Stand, stand your ground and you will see the victories I've purchased for you becoming evident and becoming uh, uh, substantial in your hand. Mm. Say the spirit of God. Amen. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Father. I believe it makes sense. I believe it makes sense to you. Yes, it does very much. All right. God bless you. Thank I just you. had that. So stand, stand your ground. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Am prateke baladaba. So prata kam bradi da bagosho prate galara badia. Oh glory, glory, glory. Mande de bushanto. I hear the spirit of God said I should tell all of us that there is victory. There is victory. Amen. Your victory is sure. Amen. Your victory is sure. Amen. It is not something that I, that uh, heaven is thinking about, mm. but it's something that has been purchased already. Amen. Stand Amen. in the place I've made for you. Amen. And everything Amen. will come out as I, I've told you. Amen. Um, Dr. Paul. Yeah. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, the things I put in your heart, Amen. 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 I will bring them to fruition. Amen. 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 I, I am the one that put them in your heart. I believe. You, 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 didn't, think, uh, you didn't think them into being. Mm. It was not something, no, no. The desires are of me, said the Spirit of God. Amen. I put those Amen. desires in your heart Amen. and... It will take my power to bring them to pass. Look upon me. Look upon me. Look upon me. Gaze and put your trust upon me. For the things as I've shown you in your heart, I have, as I've shown you, you will see them. Amen. If you will see them. It will come to pass. Exactly as I've shown you. Exactly. 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 And I see like arrows. Like arrows. I see them flying from one place to another. Amen. And it shall come. I believe. And I have called, I have caused my word in your mouth to be strong and to be sweet. Amen. Amen. It will impact the heart of men. Amen. It will be strong and will build. Amen. Amen. And cause them to stand Amen. in what I've made available for them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yours is to bring them into the inheritance I have purchased for them. Amen. There are many that don't know, but I have put my word in your mouth Amen. that you will cause that as you speak, as you speak, and as you do the things I've put in your heart, you will see that men will come to realize what I have made available for them, what I have put in them, and they will stand in the inheritance I've purchased for them. Amen. Trust me. Rely on me. Yes. And I will bring it. And I will say it. Amen. As I've said to you, I will bring them. Amen. And it shall not be long, said the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Holy Glory to Lord Jesus. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, I feel I feel like a heat upon my hair right now. Mm. And I know that it's an anointing. It's an enablement that is coming upon us. It's coming upon us. It's coming upon us. God will cause us to arise. And some of us, some of us, you begin to feel that sensation. It will come upon you. And God is saying, I should tell you that I will cause you. You will be, you will publish my word, said God. You will carry my word. You will publish it. I will cause that finances come to you. I will cause that doors be open to you. And you will 
push the forefronts of my word. Amen. Said the Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy, Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Amen. I, I, didn't, I didn't plan to do this. It has taken our time. I, I was thinking I can take some questions, but I was overtaken by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'm sure in the, it has been, the short time has been a blessing to us. Hallelujah. Have about, we still have about six minutes. Yes, yes. Six minutes. Thank Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I don't know. Does anybody have a question? Oh, hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think I have something I want you to clarify something because it actually hit me, it actually hit me very well. I was really the okay. revelation you know, this morning that okay, okay, even it like that a, a, a servant fall and rise to his master, yeah. That even mm -hmm. when you fall, it, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't still give the right to the devil to afflict you, yeah. So, can yeah. you expand it more on that so that we can? It's mm -hmm. something that really, really, really yeah, really hit me okay. So. All right, all right. Mm. You, 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 we, we are, we are God's property, mm. and you know, um, um, the the Bible says, um, um, let me let me open that place quickly. Ephesians, uh, um, let's go to that Ephesians chapter six still. Verse 11, it says, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The word wiles there is deceptions of the devil. The devil will want you to feel, to, to, he will want you to think that because you have wronged, you have fallen short in your work with God, he has the right to afflict you. No. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? You can hear. Okay. Somebody's mic is really making some. Yeah. Uh, that he has a right to afflict you. But no. The Bible says that Jesus paid the price. So every the price has been paid in full. Mm. But through deception, he likes you. You. You mostly. Believers are the one that gives him power mm. to afflict us. Mm. Mm. Once in your thoughts, when you permit him, mm. because of that, because when you fall, one of one of the things that come to you is say, "Hey, the devil can." In in that thought, he sneaks in. Mm. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> so, but let uh, me fall after the. I've, I've received forgiveness, asked for forgiveness, they still believe that the devil has the right to afflict them because of No, no. Remember, remember, the Bible says that if you offend, the, the Bible, um, that's Peter, the disciple talking with Jesus said that how many times should your brother offend you uh, for you to forgive him? He says 70 T seventy t times seven, which is four hundred and something. Four hundred ninety. Uh, ninety mm -hmm. in a day. So, it, 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 how, how how is it possible for someone to like, offend you to up to four hundred ninety <laughs> something in, in a day? Not possible. It will be terrible. <laughs> and even if if it's possible, it will be also ter uh, very terrible for the person counting to four hundred ninety something times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He says that you you should the person should forgive that person. So it means that if God expects that from men, I have much more God. Hmm. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it means that we have forgiveness with him. So if we have forgiveness with him, the devil has no right to afflict you. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if we you find out that you have you have offended him, receive forgiveness and stand your ground. Stand your ground. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've, 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 I've seen people who have been held, held back with guilt and condemnation because they actually misbehaved, mm. they slept around and they, were, uh, they had HIV and they felt that God could not heal them. Mm. I, I, no, no, no. 
receive forgiveness and stand your guard. And that mm. guilt actually keeps them from receiving their healing. Mm. And once you are able to deal with that, like one, all what was told him was that you have been made the righteousness of God. Receive his forgiveness. Declare, I am, and as, as he began to declare that he's the righteousness of God, healing came. He went back to the test and he became a negative. So all this why the devil was taking advantage of that and afflicting him. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So have that understanding that he has no right. You are the forgiving one. You are the authorized one. Once you receive your forgiveness, stand your ground. Mm-hmm. He has no right. Amen. It's all is a family business. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But it's a family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord. I, I think the, that light. Um, that that helped a little thank you so much may god bless you so let's thank pray, you uh, pray for pastor john that god will expand him expand his ministry expand his anointing add more to his grace that he continue to grow from strength to strength bless him financially bless him physically bless him in his Hallelujah. thank you lord thank you lord let's begin to pray for him in the name of jesus christ thank you father this morning for yes. yes. pastor john we also pray that because he has sown into our life father expanding let him have harvest 30 60 100 a thousand fold in the name of jesus christ thank you father thank you jesus in jesus name we pray amen let's, amen let's share the grace and fellowship May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely God's goodness are following us all the days of our all life. the days of our life. And we are continuing to dwell in the household of God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yeah. All right. Bye. Mm-hmm.